nueva Renault Duster. Presenta. La vida es como la carrera de un actor. Y en las series hay que tener la fuerza para enfrentar todo tipo de aventuras. Pueden ser vikingos, legionarios romanos, dimensiones paralelas. Nunca sabes qué se le puede ocurrir a los guionistas. Sí, las series son emocionantes, pero no hay nada como la vida real. Nueva Renault Duster, para la nueva temporada de tu vida. Hi guys, very nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you. I've tried to kill Emma Stone many times, but she has always eluded my grasp. Let me give you some advice. You can't care about anyone else. Everyone else is an obstacle. You care what an obstacle wants or feels you're dead. If I'd cared about anyone or thing, I might have died. You have the talent. Whether you have the killer instinct is the big question. Hmm. And I have to ask you, Emma, um, Corella has always been a villain, but there is something about her in this film that makes her likable. So as an actress, how do you commit to a character like this that not necessarily always does the right things? Yes, it's, you know, it's interesting because it, I had a lot of questions for myself about what is the what is the sort of moral of the story, right? Because it's a Disney movie and there is often a moral to the story. Is this a cautionary tale? Um, I don't know. In some ways, I do believe it's very much a cautionary tale. But in some ways, I do think she's pretty inspiring. So I, to me, it's sort of a story of nature versus nurture. And it was a... It was a very fun character to try to explore and to find the cracks in that sort of uh, villainous armor that we've we've all grown to know and love. She thought she owned everyone. It's foolish. Unhinged. Well, you're fired. Why are you speaking? I think you've licked me. But there's something about poetic justice that's just so poetic. And Emma, Baroness, I mean. <laughs> What can I say about her? Um, I feel like what leads her ultimately to the way she is, she is, is that she cannot deal with competition in an industry that's, that's very right. hard. And you, and you are a legend in Hollywood, and you also lead a deal with competition. So, what's the best way on, on doing that and, and just staying the way you stay? Oh, I've had a lot of very, very good people killed. Well, I've had a lot of young, promising talent done away with um, because uh, you know I find competition very very difficult I've tried to kill Emma Stone many times but she has always eluded my grasp um, because she's basically better than me and a much better person <laughs> you both are amazing stop it guys come on I'm wily you won't admit you love me and so how do you have a light to know Get her. This doesn't have to be a scene. It really, really does. Can I remind you all that I'm doing this in heels? Oops. What was your name? Cruella. And this question is for both of you. Um, one thing I really loved about this film is that Cruella sort of weaknesses become her strength. So have you found something in yourself in this industry that maybe at first you thought it was a flaw, but now you found it that it's useful and handy for your job? One of, a, a journalist asked me about 10 years ago, and I, it's always stuck with me. He said, how do you keep your skin thin? And I thought it was such an incredible question because a lot of people talk about getting a thick skin and you really need to have a thick skin and don't let things bother you. But to be an artist, you actually need to have thin skin. So how can you maintain thin skin? I think having great people around you, people that, that you respect and that are wiser than you and can help you through tough times. I think that weakness of being vulnerable and having a thin skin is something that I think is incredibly important. And I've, no, I've seen it in artists or in actors that do get a thick skin and it sort of, um, it affects them. It affects the, the way they are as a, as a performer in a lot of ways. And it's, it, it, they don't, I don't know, it, it's, um, it's something that's very important to me. So that, I guess my thin skin would be my weakness that I am glad I have. And you, Emma? Yeah, and I, I think I think that um, you have to learn skills. You have to learn to be porous when it's necessary. That is to say, have one less skin than everyone else so that you can portray and you can 
transfer all your feelings and try to pretend, actually pretend to be somebody else. But then when it's necessary, be metallic. And when people are throwing stuff at you, whatever kind of unuseful stuff, be it about the way you look or some bad criticism that's not constructive, you need to be able to put up a shield. And those are skills that you can learn as you grow in the profession. She stole my dogs. <laughs> I guess you must hate her. She has made it me or her. And I choose me. Don't worry, there's lots more bad things coming. Perhaps. Nueva Renault Duster presentó